honour your agreements and obligations. Chapter 32 from the Incarnation of Love Adidas Samraj Your word must have the force of a vow, which means you must have more than the mere intention to do something. You must take into account everything you have committed yourself to do and make sure that you have not only the intention to accomplish it, but also the means to do so. Of course, you should be able to change your mind, but in the way of the heart, there is a practice for doing so that is part of your learning in the first three stages of life. To make such changes, you must be in communication with the people with whom you have made an earlier agreement, and then you must change your agreement together. The traditional yamas, restraints and niyamas, observances, which are the religious and moral foundation of spiritual life, involve responsibilities relative to mind or intellect, speech and body. They include the yamas of internal and external non-violence, truthfulness, non-stealing, celibacy or sexual self-mastery, and non-covetness, and the niyamas of internal and external purity, contentment, austerity, study of scriptures, and of the strategies of the egoic self, and worship of or meditation on the divine. Duty was always very much spe specified in the traditional religious cultures of the East. Likewise, in the West, duty must be specified. Secular obligations must be rounded out, made specific and not allowed to overwhelm your entire life. Social obligations are fine. They make order. They help everyone to survive. But social obligations are not all there is. It should be understood that social relations are about duty and they are appropriate, but they are not the whole of life. Instead of indulging in social relations, as if they are the be-all and end-all, instead of acting as though they are all that life is, you should observe your duty. Manifest your right attention to the matters that you must, but do not be totally aberrated by doing so. Do not renounce me, your true heart master. Do not renounce the way of the heart. Do not become stupid in the face of your ordinary obligations. That is not your duty. That is not what life is about. As my devotee, from east or west, you should know what the social obligations are for real and not tighten them up so much that you have no freedom to engage in the experiment of life in real sadhana. Do not allow social obligations to be piled on social obligations so that you are so limited you cannot do sadhana anymore, so that you cannot do anything but be a slave to secular purposes anymore. It is important that you understand your rights and your real obligations and that you fulfil them. When the time comes, you can even renounce those if you become a true renunciate.